The Maryland Energy Administration serves as a resource for all the people of Maryland. Uh, our mission is to be an advisor on energy issues to the governor, but also to promote renewable energy, energy efficiency, and really a clean energy economy for the state. Over my career, um, I first started working on environmental issues uh, and have gravitated towards energy issues because there are such exciting challenges and opportunities at the same time. And um, I first started working uh, in law firms and then uh, at the Federal Environmental Protection Agency, uh, made my way to Capitol Hill, and finally for the last several years been working with governors, most recently Governor O'Malley, in trying to tackle energy issues. We're facing a, a raft of energy challenges, both on transportation fuels with crude oil topping $100 uh, a barrel, as well as on the electricity side, where we face not only high prices, but potential shortages. And education really is the key in the long run to overcoming both of those challenges. If we are going to transition to a lower carbon economy and find solutions that are sustainable, both for transportation fuels and for electricity, it's education that's going to get us there. It's the technological breakthroughs in biofuels, in solar energy, in more efficient wind turbines that are enabling us to think about a renewable, more sustainable future. As we look at the economy today, there are so many careers that did not exist 25 years ago. By educating our young people about the promise of renewable energy today, we're really opening up pathways for careers and opportunities that we probably don't even vision now. And that kind of education really is the key to the future and one reason why I'm so excited about Biodiesel University, because it teaches kids about renewable energy and does so in a creative, innovative way that really gets them excited about science. And whether they go on to be scientists on renewable energy or just take that love of learning into other aspects of their life, it's a win-win for all of us. Biodiesel University and renewable fuels in general have such huge economic potential, it's hard to exaggerate. From a, from a geopolitical perspective, if we are able to become energy independent, if we are able to grow our own crops and fuel our own cars and industry, it will really uh, break our dependence on unstable foreign regimes, on Mideast oil. It is a trillion dollar industry. And Biodiesel University showing us one way that we can get folks excited about renewable energy and promote renewable energy is a big step towards becoming energy independent. I'm excited that Maryland hosts Biodiesel University because I do think it is a uh, harbinger of things to come, of a path that others are going to want to follow. It's a great way for us to train uh, our young kids into the promise of renewable energy and the promise of science. And by taking the hands-on learning that Biodiesel University represents uh, and bringing it around the state to communities all over, uh, I think people are going to look at Maryland and Biodiesel University and say, how can we replicate that? We want our kids to have that experience here. I'm excited for the first time my kids are able to go on the Biodiesel University bus. They are going to love it. They love um, things they can touch, things they can experience, simple things such as you know pressing seeds into oil and, and mixing it and seeing the biodiesel separate out uh, and then realizing that that is actually what is fueling the cars that they drive on. Um, they're going to be very, very excited about doing this. They're going to want to plant their own gardens so they can do this at home. They are going to uh, get excited about science uh, and that kind of excitement is what we want to translate throughout Maryland and throughout the country. I think it's a concept that people are ripe for, they're ready for it, and they're excited by it. Everyone I've talked to about Biodiesel University says, man, that's a great idea. So, um, so I'm very optimistic that it's going to be a great success. For any project such as Biodiesel University to be a success, it takes partnerships, it takes collaboratives. So I'm happy that the Maryland Energy Administration is able to uh, contribute in some small way to Biodiesel University, and I urge others to do the same with partnerships both with uh, state, potentially the federal government, as well as industry. You're able to leverage the resources to make Biodiesel University a success and then really um, expand it, uh, translate it uh, into other contexts, which I think uh, really uh, we're just tapping the beginning of the potential of this idea.